Chris and Bob's Adventure Channel. Bridgeport Snorkel Adventure. Hi, welcome to Chris and Bob's Adventure Channel. My name is Alicia and today I will be swimming. We're swimming in the water. Swimming in the water. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, freezing. We like it Wait, cold. Stop. Yeah. Check. Okay. Here comes Alicia swimming across the South Yuba River. <sighs> How is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty cold. What time is it? You know? <laughs> Early. It's like. Hey, you guys know what time it is? 7.42. Thanks, Bob. It's a little early, isn't it? 7.42 to be in the water? Right. This woke me up better than the coffee pot. <sighs> Mask and snorkel. The secret is you have to sweat. Yeah? Tell us the secret, Bob. I'm gonna move. You'll see the secret right here. Here goes Bob. <sighs> yep. I guess the secret is swimming away really far. Here comes Alicia. Going the distance. Swimming like a champ. Hi Alicia. How are you? Out of breath. <laughs> okay. Chill out here on this rock. Yep. I'm gonna go swim up the river. Yep. Alright. Do it. Yep. Ouch. Go over here. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe me out
Air quality is really bad, the visibility. What a bummer. Water temperature is perfect. Not crowded, we got here plenty early. So what do you think? Pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. It was a little lower this time of year. There and then film all the way back with the current behind you, so you don't have to work so hard. Right. But the air quality is horrible today. It is horrible. With those two fires in the north and the one in the south. But this is Bridgeport. This is Bridgeport. This is Bridgeport, Northern California. Yeah, if you live here in the, the valley, in the Northern Valley, if you live here in the valley, the South Yuba offers probably 25, 30 holes to swim in of varying sizes. I would say this is the biggest. I swam in a lot of them and I've explored and biked and I, I have a lot of experience in this area, but this is by far the easiest access with a family. I won't say there's a hike. There's a little bit of a hundred yard walk to get in, but this is one of my favorite places to come swim for ease of access. I like the pool, but nothing like a river. <laughs> this is fantastic. Let's, let's head all the way up. Come on. You got this, Chris. Okay, hold on of the big hole here at Bridgeport. There's another hole further up. Maybe on another day we'll show you that. Nowhere near as big as that. But what we want to do is film this, and I wish the light was better, the entire length of the large hole fluently. You're going to film the entire way with your face down with the camera in the water, right? The entire way. We want to show you. And if you want to turn around, then I'll stop talking. This entire river has so many places like you know what? Get up. Get outside. You got a life to live. It's awesome to be outside. All right, let's swim.
Oh my God. What? That was a hell of a swim. Yeah, big hole, and it's still a little more swimming that way. Right? When we showed up here this morning, we found that it was really quite trashed. The people from the day before left trash everywhere. So whenever we go somewhere, we uh, try to do our best to pick up whatever trash we find. And um, there's, a, there's a big amount of trash today. Anyway, keep America beautiful.